my, my inventory is relatively empty right now. I guess I'll put the, uh, I guess I'll cook the bass real quick, just because why not, right? So, uh, there you go, cooked fish, and we have 85, and, oh, I guess you could only do a sack of 30, so there you go, there's 30, here's another 30, and then 25, I guess I'll keep those. I think we already had some bass over here, and I just, uh, yeah, we had 13, but jeez, now we have 38 right there, and then cooked fish, and I guess I'll keep that, uh, uh, there's another cooked fish right there. <laughs> but now we have 30 cooked fish in our inventory. I guess I'll keep that in there on all times, just because why not, right? But either way, our inventory is relatively, uh, empty right now. Oh, yeah, man, I left the bait in my inventory. I need to keep that in the, uh, the chest over there. That way, I can, if I, oh, 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 caught those blue jays because I have the running shoes. Awesome, nice. <laughs> but yeah, put the bait over here. That way, you know, I never run out of bait, basically. I never, like, keep it in my inventory. If I want to go fishing, it's already there. It's very, very convenient, but, oh. Uh, yeah, I don't want to catch that guy. <laughs> let's go back to the base. Our base is, or our inventory is relatively empty, so uh, it's going to be really easy just to see what all we got. Squirrel, take all those garbage out. And then wooden crate. Oh, and then uh, put the coins up so if we get money, we can see exactly how much we get in total. So let's open up all the wood crates, shall we? There you go. Uh, eight lesser mana potions. Restores 50 mana. We have 80, I think, right now, so that's decent. And seven platinum bars. Not bad. Uh, 10 tungsten ore, really good. Oh, we even got a gold sometime. I don't know when we did, but we got seven iron bars and two shine potions. Cool. You got two night owl potions right there. And I don't know if it's st anything stacking up with anything there. Three swiftness and three apprentice bait. Oh yeah, we have some baits I need to put over there too, like that. Brisk sailfish boots. The wearer can run super fast. Wait, is that worse than the hasty Hermes boots? Plus 3%. Yeah, it's the same thing, basically. But this is plus 3%, and this is only plus 1%. Brisk sailfish. Hasty Hermes. Huh. And this has, like, a point on the toe. Interesting. And what if I wore those? What do I look like? Oh, you can barely see. Yeah, it looks like there's, like, well, there's wings if I wear this, but... Because we have, like, cactus shoes, you can barely see a difference there. It's still green. <laughs> but yeah, I think our shoes we have here, the Her uh, Hasty Hermes boots, are a little bit better than the brisk sailfish boots we got right here. I guess we could sell them or something like that, you know? So, uh, I guess for right now, I'll put them in, like, the armor and weapons, but we have nine more crates to open, golly. Ex Extractinator turns, can be placed, turns silt slush fossils into something more useful. To use, place silt slush fossils in the Extractinator. And 510, I think that's another thing. Just like lead, I think, right? Tin isn't that iron, or is that copper? Like, it's, the, it's supposed to be, like, the same thing, basically, right? But just a different name and color and all that kind of stuff. I don't know, but we have some right there, so hey, there you go, eight uh, more wooden crates, we have four silver, so hey, I'm like, we need silver to continue getting more silver armor. We got, uh, speaking of silver, more silver ore right there, so that's cool. We got two gold, and four lesser healing potion right there, nice. Uh, looks like we got some swiftness and apprentice bait right there, just stacked up with the stuff we already had. Angry si- okay. So, plus three, wait, what, plus three damage, and then we also- Plus 3% movement speed. So we do a little bit more damage and then we can still run fast with those? Hold on, was this one say? Yeah, that's still movement speed there. So can I still run? Catch these uh, bunnies real quick. Do I still have that sprinting thing? Oh, oh, and then there's like a, oh, can I walk on water with these? Cause it's called like sailfish or something like that, right? But we have uh, like platforms here, so I can't really even test that out. Oh, I don't have a uh, flipper, so yeah, that's, that's something I should get though. Oh, wait. Oh, that's just bubbles coming out of me. I was wondering, like, am I able to breathe underwater now or something crazy? But no, I don't think so. But yeah, we still have the ability to, to run fast, and of course we're doing 3% extra damage, which is cool and all, but... Yeah, and then there we go, there's the sprinting with, like, a weird blue background now, instead of whatever we had to... Oh, can I have both of these? I guess I can, huh? I'm like, I have the inventory slots. So we have that, we're moving a little bit faster, and then we're maybe doing a little bit more damage, perhaps? Aren't we, like, not able to have the same type of thing twice? Plus 3% movement speed, and then plus 3% damage, so... Hey, there you go, and then if we take these off, what does it look like? Uh... Yeah, that just that just has dust coming out of our boots, but... With this, it's like coming out of our whole body, which is kind of interesting. And I guess I'll demonstrate that, but we have a uh, heckin' creatures over here. A demon eye! I, I kinda wanna catch a squirrel and the bunny! There you go, and then let's kill the heckin' zombies and the demon eye. And... Hey, oh! There we go! All right, well, if we get more banners, definitely want to put them over here, but it doesn't really matter too much. We have heckin' healing, and we have uh, the zombie banner in there already. I think we're fine. But, uh, yeah, we still have some... We have three crates left over. We can still uh, open up real quick, but... 
I don't know what the real like difference is between these and the boots that we had before, except for of course this one does extra damage now. But I don't know what that weird like pattern behind this really means. I don't know if it actually signifies anything significantly different. Either way, let's go back to the base area where it's nice and safe from all these creatures, and let's see what else we get from these uh, three other wooden crates. And I guess I'll put, put the uh, other trash up, so the bunnies and the squirrel and the lens over there, nice. Oh, I could have just hit uh, like quick stack or whatever right there, but either way, uh, three more wooden crates. Three gills potion, probably some other stuff. More gills potions. And we got more night owl, apprentice bait, and swiftness potions, okay. Not too bad. And we got some more gold, or, well, we killed some stuff, so we probably got some copper and silver from that, but we, in total, we have three gold and 42 silver and 69 copper right there. Not too bad, I'd say. So, let's put the, uh, the stuff up over there, so quick stack, boom, noise, and now we have 33 gold, 4 silver, and no copper, so I, I guess it just kind of lined up perfectly there, huh? Anyways, I guess we'll put the, uh, brisk sailfish boots, I guess I'll put, the, uh, put those up over there. I hear another, uh, falling star, I believe I got, like, one or two more falling stars off. Yeah, yeah, we have four in total, we're gonna have five here in just a moment. So I guess we'll get another upgrade for our mana, wherever that landed. I don't know where it landed. I heard it, though, but, uh... Nah, I could have caught that guy. Didn't get my uh, net out fast enough, but... Yeah, I don't know where it landed. I don't know if it landed on my house or what. I like this way? Oh, got that bunny. <laughs> yeah, I heard a falling star just a moment ago. I don't know where it is. Hmm. Maybe I'll zoom out and see if it'll, uh... Show up for us. There's a squirrel right there. Yeah, I could not imagine playing like this. Even though I've got a pretty big bonder, I could not imagine playing this game like this. Even though it is very convenient to see, like, the, all the underground and all the stuff above and... All the creatures still left and right, like, so easily on this big screen here, like, me just playing it, not even for you guys to watch, but me just playing it, it just seems everything's just way too small for me. <laughs> I, I definitely like it, where it's, uh, at least maybe, like, to here I could play it. And then we zoom in a little bit, and this is where I'm recording it at. Yeah, I could probably play it, like, oh, there it is, right, man, actually, it landed decently far away. But yeah, I could definitely play it, like, at this zoom. Hmm. You guys think I should zoom it out to, like, maybe here? Because right here, I'm like, it is pretty tight, but it, it, it will be advantageous for us to at least see a little bit more. So what do you guys think about me taking it to about, like, maybe, like, right... Let me let me see if I could zoom it to where we could see our entire house from the inside. That's probably about the... Uh, well, I could do it, like, maximum zoom, I could still see the entire house. Okay, that doesn't really work too much. <laughs> but what about, uh... Mm, what about, like, halfway? So there's all the way zoomed out. Here it is all the way zoomed in. Somewhere in between would be where that tree is to the left. So if I go like right here, what do you guys think about this? This doesn't seem too bad. I I, I could do this. That way we could see more stuff, especially if we're mining. We can keep track of those like those those worms that are attacking us and all that kind of stuff. We can see stuff like that that uh, bunny from further away. I think this is a good zoom. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys like it where it's zoomed in all the way, or do you guys like it like right now where? is zoomed out just a little bit more than it was just a moment ago. And pretty much for the whole entire series. Because I, I don't think I'm going to be zooming it out all the way, but I will go all the way out to like here, compared to what we were previously, which I like, because this is what we were, and then zoom out to that tree. All right here. Yeah, that, that seems good. I could definitely do this. Not bad. Anyways, uh, yeah, we just got a lot of stuff right there. Man, there's so many hacking creatures constantly spawning outside our base. I guess it's better than, like, zombies and stuff, you know, but I still need to, like, we have an abundance of heckin' animals over here I could sell to, uh, to Barney and stuff, but either way, yeah, we have a lot of new potions and all that kind of stuff. I guess I'll, I guess I'll uh, do quick stack. There you go. Oh, what in the world? Uh, oh, yeah, I had some lesser healing, but I had, like, ten in my, uh, hot bar, and it just took some of them right there. Whoops. Probably shouldn't do that whenever I uh, have potions and stuff, but lesser mana potion, yeah. Uh, so we, we have five fallen stars now. We can almost make two more of those mana crystals or whatever they're called. Uh, is there anything else you can but Yeah, I need to go back to the thing. And then we have the extract, and I think we have some siltstone over here or something, right? Because I remember mining some of it. There's clay, there's dirt. Uh, silt slush fossils into something more useful. Where's silt out on it? Oh yeah, here we go. Ten silt. I don't know if that's enough to do anything with the, with the extractinator thing. Then we have some tin bar, silver bar, and silver ore. I guess I'll uh, mine out the silver ore into... There you go. Silver bars. So there you go. And I'll do the same thing with the tungsten. So there you go. And uh... Oh, there you go. So now we have seven silver, seven more iron, uh, five tin, and two tungsten, and a little bit of extra. And 
Seven Platinum, too. That's really amazing. I think Platinum's, like, the best, I think, right? But in terms of, like, names and stuff like that, it sounds like it's better than gold, so that's good. I don't know if this, uh, Crimtain is, like, the best or anything crazy. Uh, but I'm like, we found it relatively high up, so I, I assume it shouldn't be too, uh, too powerful or anything like that, right? Yeah, we have 17 st uh, silver bars right there. We have two silver ore. We're, we're close to getting a, a helmet. And of course, if we get the silver helmet, that means we have no more uh, mining helmets. So maybe I'll save up to 25 silver bars to get the boots. And then that way, if we get like 20 more silver after that, then we'll replace the helmet, the mining helmet with the, uh, the silver. And then we'll get the bonus for having a, uh, a matching set. So anyways, uh, it's going to take a little while for me to get used to the heck and zoom out to here because it's, it's actually fairly zoomed out to be quite honest compared to what we just had. But... Yeah, oh yeah, and then if we build our house upwards, we'll be able to see even more of it, because of course, I'm sure we'll be able to get more and more and more NPCs here in the future. Oh, I could've got that bird. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, things are a little bit smaller. I didn't see that bird until it's flying away. I don't know. I have to definitely get used to this zoom, though, but we also have the extractinator thing. I guess we'll, uh, where could I possibly place it? How big is this? That's actually decently big. Oh yeah, I looked into this heavy workbench. Apparently, it's for, like, really specific stuff, so maybe I'll get rid of that at least for right now. Oh, what in the world? What's Kyle talking about? Same doors at night, yeah. Is he saying anything new? No, have a gun. Strong monster. Hook and three chains. I can make a grappling hook. That sounds good, but... They carry hooks and chains can be made. Yeah, we haven't gotten a hook, I don't think, from a skeleton yet. We, we've killed some skeletons underground, but we haven't gotten a hook from them yet. So that's unfortunate, but... Now we have the extra... Oh, whoa, it's like moving! Ooh! So we have the... Oh, yeah, oh... Wait, what? We can make this fallen star or mana star crystal thing? I thought we had to do that at the Crimson Table. Or am I thinking about something else? I guess you could just make the Mana Crystal wherever, at like a workbench, I guess, huh? Or any workbench, or even just in your inventory, I suppose. But yeah, there you go, let's make a few of those. Or, you know, just one, because I can't make the second one just yet, and it's turn of the daytime, so I'm not going to get another uh, Fallen Star, unfortunately. Not until it turns to nighttime again, but... Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Oh yeah, nothing else there, but... Yeah, now we have the Extractinator. What do we do with it, though? Because we have some silt. Is there something I can actually do with the silt? Like, put it in there? Or... Oh my god! Amber, copper, coins. 46 copper. Whoa! Lead ore. Hold on, this thing is amazing. Silver ore, copper, iron ore, copper. You guys. Where was... We saw a good amount of silt, like, here or so, right? I think, or like here, or I forget, but we, I remember seeing silt like pretty deep down, and I was like, oh man, what's that? Oh, it's silt. I thought it was like a different type of like ore or something like that, but yeah, somewhere around here, we saw some silt. It, I might want to go back down and get some more and see what we can get out of this extractinator machine. We just got lead ore, silver ore, iron ore, uh, even an amber. That's cool. It can be placed. Can I actually place that? Like, where can I? Oh, it's just on the ground. Okay. I have to mine it. And there you go. <laughs> Thankfully, I was able to still mine it with my and gold pick, though. Golly. But I guess I put those up over here in the metals and gems, just because, uh... There you go. Lead. And I don't know if we'll ever get any more lead ore. Oh, yeah. And then I have to get the mana crystal and, like, consume that. And boom. We have another uh, star over there. So we have 100 mana now. Still have no use for it right now, because I have no, uh, like, magic abilities or something like that. But either way... Uh, blocks, plants. I guess I'll put the... I don't know, I'll put this heavy workbench in the random loot thing, just because I have nothing to do with it just yet, apparently. But yeah, kind of want to go back underground and get more of that silt. Maybe, uh... There you go. Uh, oh yeah, I need to go put that extra, like, bait in that chest. Where was it? Yeah, apprentice bait. We got 13 more, so let's go back to the fishing, like, hut. <laughs> and let's go put the, uh, the bait inside there, and I guess now we're going to have so much... And yeah, I don't know. I really do like this zoom. I've gotten so used to it. We've been playing with it for like 15 episodes or whatever by now, so... I don't know, I think that zoom, this zooming out a little bit like this is fine and all, but... I don't know, I just, I just, I'm just used to playing like this now. It might be too late for me to switch, you know, but... I guess I'll switch back to this one for right now. Either way, let's go back to the deserty area-ish. But not quite in the desert. Because I want to go back- Oh god, I didn't even see that slime right there. <laughs> but I kind of want to go back to the underground area. I know, we just went there pretty recently, but... Marathon Medalist, what? I guess I've been running for... a certain amount of distance. Oh, I think I can actually check that real quick. Let me look at the achievements. 
travel a total of 26.2 miles on foot. Hey, that's cool. I wonder if it, it might actually tell me how many of uh Well, I should have hit 26.2 right there. Let me see, what else do we have here? Oh, by the way, there is an achievement we got a little while ago that said like, I said it was 1 a.m. loot. It was a pure coincidence that I was recording that bit at 1 a.m. for me. But it actually said, I am loot. You know, like the I am group meme. But it was actually 1 a.m. for me. So I was like, oh man, what in the world? What? And of course, it looked like 1 a.m. loot too. Like, oh, got both of those Blue Jays. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, that, that was a crazy coincidence that it said 1 a.m. or I am loot. And it was also 1 a.m. and it looked like 1 a.m. loot. But yeah, some of you guys were correcting me in the comments. <laughs> but either way, let's keep heading over here to the desert where we have that like big mine shaft going down. And let's try and find where that silt was. Actually, I wonder if we could find silt like in the desert here. I don't know, maybe. Or what was it? It was like fossils and silt and something else. There's like a third thing that I could use there, but of course fossils make sense to get like an amber and stuff. It's kind of crazy. But and then yeah, I know we could zoom out here and find that one worm guy. I'm gonna there we go. I'm gonna stay zoomed in like this. I am just used to it, you guys. I, I, I can't really change out. It's a little bit too late to be quite honest. <laughs> Let's keep going down here. Especially, oh, oh, I hear them. Uh, the, the worm. Of course, now, oh, wait, no, it's just a small one. Wait, what in the world? It took two hits to get that guy? I don't know. I guess so, huh? Anyways, oh, yeah, and then there's silver over here, too. Yeah, I forgot there was silver over here, and then I, like, died over here off camera. Slash, in the background footage. I don't even think I used that footage for my channel update. I recorded, like, 30 minutes of footage, but, of course, my channel update's, like, half the heck and length. And by the way, if you guys are in like the future and wondering what channel update I'm even talking about, it's the May 2020 channel update, so if you guys want to go see some background footage, and hey, there you go. Uh, either way, over here, I see a clay pot. I might as well go grab it real quick. And what do we get right there? Just wooden arrows. Okay. Not bad. I don't know if there's anything else to the left. There's iron up there. Oh yeah, and then this hardened like sand. Is this gold? No, the, yeah, this is gold. I thought it was hardened. To, it blends in with the sand. Is that a bat to the top left? I don't know, but hey, look at that, we're getting some gold over here, which is good. I've been looking for gold for... Well, I haven't really actually been looking for too long. <laughs> but we came here pretty recently to find some gold, and I didn't find any until now. Oh, is that... I don't think it said mud. I think it said silt fossil, and there's a flying guy down there. Yeah. If I want to watch out for him, you guys, I can hear him. Like, make some disgusting insect noises. Ugh. But yeah, it... silt, we saw... I... Is that... Yeah, it's just more mud blocked. And then down there are some weird, like, insect-type creatures. And then I guess I'll kill this guy real quick. There we go. Got him. Antlion Mandible. He just, like, explodes right there. There's, like, two- Oh, man, yeah, that actually is two of them. I thought there was, like, it looked like two of them, but it was, like, a glitch. But no, it actually was two of them, like, glitched inside of each other still. <laughs> but let's see if I can find that silt. I remember seeing it. Wait, why did this change to- Oh, I guess maybe I was technically in the desert biome there, yeah. Okay, that changed it to, like, orange water. Okay, that's interesting. I know what it looks like. It looks kind of like stone, but, like, it looks smooth-ish. I don't know how else to describe it, I guess. We could... Oh! Is that silt down there? No, that's just dirt or mud or something. I don't think that's silt. Yeah, you got know, dirt block. Yeah, you know, nothing crazy. Stone. We got decent oxygen. I could probably, uh... Yeah, that's dirt. Oh, and that's mud down here, I think. Yeah, mud. I don't, I don't think I need to... Oh, wait, hold on. That might be silt right there. Well, let's get some oxygen. There's a red guy we need to watch out for here in just a moment, but... Is this... Yes, it is! Silt block. I knew it. I knew I knew what it looked like. Saw it right there at the last moment. Getting a decent amount of silt right now, you guys. Nice. Now, the thing is, we're almost out of uh, oxygen. So... Oh, my gosh. Come on, come on, come on. Rope. Ooh, there you go. Full on oxygen. Perfect. Now, this isn't the only place we've seen silt. We've seen some more to the left, or to the right. Well, maybe more to the left, but... Yeah, this silt deposit right here is pretty much... And look at how fast... And look at this more oxygen right here. Perfect. But yeah, we, we can mine this stuff super fast. That's great. I might even, uh... Tunnel through this way. That way, uh... I can like, easily come in and out of here if I want to come through here again if I'm... For some strange reason. Oh, that guy has a... I think that's a recall potion inside. Oh, of course... Recall potions are basically nothing now. I guess if we get them, we could sell them, get a little bit of money out of them, but how much money are we really going to get from those things, right? Golly. But yeah, we've got the magic mirror now, so recall potions are basically nothing now, right? And a bat. There you go, he's dead. Oh, was there silt over here? No, I don't think so. Of course, it'd be like in watery area, just like where we just saw it right there. It'd be in a watery area, 
Because of course I'm like this. Oh, oh, that's the guy that had the uh, the recall potion. Yeah, recall potion right there. Unfortunately, we can't see how much money that stuff is worth unless we're like talking to a merchant. Oh, there's another a black slime with a recall potion. Two black slimes. I barely see them. Like they blend in with this like molten lava background or whatever this is so well. You can't really see them too well. I think down here there was some silt. Yep, yeah, got some silt. Very small amounts of silt here, but silt nonetheless. Is that more silt over here, maybe? I don't know. Seems like an oh yeah, a cave over here. I don't know if I'll be able to make my way into here. There's cobwebs. Oh, I'm gonna die. And I'm trying to look into there. But thankfully we've got this uh mining helmet. I love this mining helmet. If you guys are just tuning into the series for whatever reason and not watching episode one, I have a mining helmet on right now with a top hat like skin. Yeah, the, the water's equalizing over here. Seeing some mud. I put a torch over here just because why not? And that's mud. And then over here is another cave area. I guess I'll just let some water leak into there just because who cares? It's not my like, house or cave or whatever. <laughs> but there you go. Let that leak into there. Was there any silt to the, this? Oh, yeah, there is. Ooh, didn't even see that. I just wanted to come over here and check and we already found some. Yeah, so one silt gets us a potential to get like an ore or an amber or something like that. We're getting a ton of silt over here, you guys. I love it. Whoa, something over there is taking damage from something. I don't know what from, but a skeleton. If we can get a hook from him, we can make a grappling hook or something. Oh, the, all the water got drained from over there. Nice. <laughs> but uh, the silt continues over there, you guys. I kind of want to. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, no. I don't want to. Was it like grappling claws or whatever that we have? That, uh, climbing claws or something? I don't know, but I might as well kill him. There you go. It's going to be easy. Bombs from that uh, clay pot. Silver, copper, no, no hooks or whatever from him, unfortunately. Trying to see if there's any. Uh... Well, there's a blink route to top left. I don't think there's any silt there. Of course, there's still some silt up here and. I don't see any silt there. It's hard to see. Oh, no, another skeleton. Nice. Definitely want to fight these guys as often as possible. I, I guess I would just check my inventory every now and then. You never know if you... I, oh, yeah, we got 19 gold ore. But what was it? Four ore for one ingot. So we basically almost got five ingots right there, you guys. So that's good. I don't know how... I think we have like 14 or something like that at home. So we can almost make like a, a gold helmet, which is good. I think our uh, mining helmets... You know, it's, it physically looks gold, but it's not actually made out of gold, unfortunately. It's just... I guess it looks cool to symbolize that light emits out of it or something. I don't know. But there's a little bit more silt over here. Let's continue grabbing it before I forget. Because uh, I, I was talking just a moment ago about the silt blocks being like, oh, one silt blocks give you like an, a potential to get like an ore or like an amber or something else that's crazy like that. So that's awesome. But yeah, I'm not seeing any more silt here, unfortunately. It seems like you have to find it where the water is and hard to tell here, even with the, uh, the mining helmet, which is really, really helpful. I'm glad that I, was it, 10 gold to buy it? I'd say it was worth it. Maybe not, like, I don't know, maybe even early game when we just barely had 10 gold. It might have been worth it. To, oh, yeah, this continues to the left. Holy heck. Yeah, it's just, a, it's just another one of those clay pot rooms. And now I'm leaking water into there, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, leaking water into an area doesn't automatically make silt appear in there, but it looks like there's silver, so... Hey, I'll take that. I actually put some torches over here, you know? Yeah, that's one bad thing about the, uh, the, the mining helmet, though, is that I forget to place torches to kind of symbolize, hey, I've been here before, and also to kind of just light it up and just see what's there without me having to be nearby, you know? So, that sucks. But at least I'm getting some silver here. No more silt. No actual water was here before until now, so of course there wouldn't be silt. And I think we're pretty much done here. I might as well, on my way out, I might as well place down some torches. I think I'm getting hit by the current there and I can't jump quite as high. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. There we go. Oh, there we go. Nice. Uh, I can't place them in the background, but there you go. Place a torch there. Oh, we got a random block right there. I couldn't. There you go. I can place in the background here, though, so that's cool. Now, if I break the... Oh, yeah, this might actually make more sense for the demolitionist. If I get the hammer, can I break this background? I can't. And there's a skeleton right there, so let's kill him. See if we can drop a uh, hook. Silver, silver and copper. No hook. But yeah, if we get a hook, we have to make the chain. And that's how we make the grappling hook or something like that, right? Which makes sense. That looks like like maybe one thing of silt right there, and that's it. I think we just opened up this area over here. We're on an, 
a big mining trip right now, and I didn't even intend for me to go on a big mining trip. <laughs> but uh, from here, we just lay down. I don't know what happened to the rope coils we had a while ago. They're like gone. Just kill that again, bat. And yeah, the water started leaking into here. I don't know if water was here originally. Yeah, I don't think so, because there is a... Uh, like another cave down there. There's more silver over here, which is great. I might as well let the water leak out of here by opening this up. There you go. Make it a little bit easier for us to mine the silver. And uh, let's just grab it all. And then here, just a moment, once we finish this, like, area, let's definitely go back home. We've got a good amount of silver. I don't know how much we have, right? 101 silt blocks. Nice. Definitely want to go put that in the extractinator or whatever that was called and see how... Oh, whoa, that was like a big black slime? Or is that just a regular... Molter slime. No, mother slime. Ooh, I want to go kill that. See if we can get out anything extra. Maybe. I was wondering because that was a big old slime. It's a heckin' mother slime. <laughs> Molter slime. I'm like, I guess that makes sense because we're in like the molten lava kind of area here, you know, but it's boomerang all these cobwebs out. There you go. And I don't think water was here natural. Except for like maybe like right here, but looks like the water was like placed there. From, from us, obviously. <laughs> and I think that's all of our rope, right? Mm, oh, no, we have 18 rope. Uh, if we cut this off right here, some sandstone, we could, uh... Oh, oh some water still exists here, though, so... I didn't get it all right there. Uh, mud block, yeah. Is that there? Oh, there you go. Okay, we got it. Let's place the, uh, the ropes a little bit more now. So there you go. Let's see where that takes us. Into this water area. At least I'll be able to come back up. Any more silt? I'm seeing mud and dirt, but no silt, unfortunately. Man, that sucks. Play some torches over here, though, just to say, hey, I've been here. And of course, we have a... Oh, there's a, uh, a worm. I guess that makes sense that uh, there would be a worm there if there wasn't already water. Of course, we just leaked the water in here. There you go. Just place down some, uh, some torches to symbolize we've been here before, and it's not like, oh, man, I need to go see what's over there. Man, I'm, ah, I'm wasting glow sticks. I wanted to place torch over there, but whatever. <laughs> Anyways, oh, yeah, let's place some torches over here. Just so I'm like, yeah, okay, I've been there. Don't need to worry about that. Oh, whoa, what was that? Oh, yeah, that's the, uh, the hardened sandstone or whatever I placed there. Looked like a heckin' sarcophagus or something crazy. <laughs> and another skeleton. Yeah. <laughs> On one hand, I kind of want to stay here and fight more skeletons. To hopefully get a hook. And unfortunately, we didn't get one right there, so that sucked. Oh, can I get the glow sticks by right-clicking them? Like, if we can right-click the torch to get them, but I guess we can't get the glow sticks. That sucks. But yeah, let's head back. A little bit this way, because I know towards the... R oh, yeah, the mother slime. Almost uh, went the other direction, but I want to go kill her. Only takes a few hits, because we do uh, 16... Oh, yeah, we should do a little bit more damage, like 3% more. Oh, we kill her. Oh, just like in the other game, you kill a slime, and it splits off into a bunch of smaller slimes. That That's cool. So I guess we don't get any special, actual special loot for that. We just get a bunch of smaller slimes that spawn from it. <laughs> oh, yeah, what else? Oh, yeah, that was a dead end. I guess it's just randomly spawned over here or something. Jeez. Yeah, let's place a torch over here. There you go. And a torch, like, right here, too. There you go. And then, where the minecart track is, I think there is silt there, especially because there is water there. I know that. So, to go back there, we need to go where? A little bit to the right, I think. Up and to the right, I think. Yeah, there it is right there. There's the minecart track. Nice. Well, I guess I could have seen that if I was zoomed out a little bit more, but whatever. Another heckin' bat. There we go. Got it. Not seeing silt there. We might have already got silt there from the in the past. Ah, man, I don't know if there's silt there. Man, I'm, I'm looking at the top. Or, yeah, that's actually, uh, there you go. Spawning in the minecart. Even though we don't actually own one, I still don't know why it does that. Oh, silt up there, I think. Oh, what in the world? There's a Shelly. What in the world is that thing doing? It's like flying all over the place. Golly. Get that heckin' Shelly out of here. Doing damage to us. I'm like, thankfully, we have more heckin' health nowadays, which is great. And there's a rope here. I don't know if we ever checked if there's silt. There's mud or dirt or something there, but no silt, I don't think. Mmm. Jellyfish and piranha there. Definitely want to kill them real quick. I'm trying to. Oh, I think that's silt there. No, that's dirt slash mud. Hmm, yeah. That's. Uh, oh, yeah, I should definitely uh, place a torch up here. I think I was trying to play. Oh, yeah, there's silt right there. There's like crim tain or something like that over here, and I didn't even grab the silt. Oh, I didn't know the silt was that good at the time, right? But. Yeah, I think we magic mirrored, like, around that area, so... Of course, I forgot to place any torches there, right? And... I can't place anything else there, but... Mm, I'm not seeing anything else up there, but I do need to get up there where that... Water's coming down, which we've been to before, because there's torches over there, so... 
go up there. I think we have to go up here to this rope. I think there might be a yes. And then we can... Oh, there's silver there, but... I don't want to grab that yet. I don't think so. And then right here is probably going to take us. Yes. Is anything else over here? No silt. Okay. Man, I love how I'm looking for silt now. Like, something I wouldn't even... Ah, I guess I'll have to mine this uh, copper real quick. Just kind of get that out of the way and get us towards the silt right there. But, man, yeah, that's silt. Perfect. And there's silt right there. Nice. But, yeah, after we grab this, I guess we'll head back. Oh, God! The heckin' Shelly right... How did I take damage right there? I don't know, but there's a heckin' bat right there trying to come towards us. Oh, yeah, the gold pickaxe is the same way as the, uh, the, the katana where we just hold it down and it constantly mines. I don't have to, like, keep clicking. So, uh... This is actually a decent silt. No, there may I think there's even silt inside of there. Awesome. Man, there's a ton of silt over here, which is great. I'm not complaining about it one bit. We are down a little bit on health, probably from heckin' drowning or something. I don't know. But uh oh yep, the wool the water's starting to drain out of here, which is good. That way we can kind of get it out of the way. But I'm gonna start digging into this area because I do see some silt. Slurp up all that silt hater. And a little bit of silt there to the right too! Golly, there's a lot of silt here. Don't mind if I do. There we go. I think that's all that. They still up there. Now it looks like dirt and mud. Okay, let's go this way. That one I'll have to worry about having water flown all over the list. <laughs> and there's a little bit of silt right here, but let's go back home here in just a moment. As long as I'm not seeing any more heckin' silt veins over here, which I'm not going to complain if I find any more, but that looks to be about it. And I think that's just mud right there. Yeah, that's just mud. So that sucks. I guess I'll place a torch over here and here and kind of symbolize that we've been here already. Make sure uh, I'm, I'll be like, oh man, haven't been here yet. Uh, there you go. And uh, place another one over here. I think that's like a piece of copper right there. I guess I'll finish it off. Yep, there you go. Nice. And, well, hey, look at that. Now we don't have water leaking down, so that's good. But yeah, let's, uh, let's magic mirror out of here now. Unless there's something else over here. Hit, 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 hit. Game, you hearing me? Sounds like you were hearing me earlier on. <laughs> Episode of two. Oh, oh God, I'm about to die. Okay, well, there's a heck of bat over here. I don't want to get... I don't know what that was. There's like a weird orange circle that almost happened right there. It was kind of strange. Oh, yeah. Uh, was there... Because there's a huge underwater area over here. Man, I said I wanted to... Not seeing silt there. That might be... Oh, 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 oh. Grand Elemental. Kill him, get some stuff. Nice. That's dirt. That's dirt slash mud. A lot of dirt slash mud there. We're getting launched now, Ada. All right, let's get out and let's go to the heckin' mirror. I don't want to. I don't want to distract myself even more. <laughs> but there you go. Awesome. So now we made our way back. Is there a fallen star over here? Because it's just one more, and I can get twenty more magic or magic. Almost said magicka, but I said magic. <laughs> but uh, twenty more mana and uh, use that for whatever I could use that for here in the future. Yeah, I don't see any more right now, so that sucks. I don't even know if they spawn if I'm not even near the surface. But either way, let's go back here to the uh, extractinator or whatever that was. I don't even. I, I don't have to mine it to actually figure out what it's actually called, but... Yeah, that, that, that's kind of interesting that I actually have to, like, interface with it other than uh, opening up my inventory, but, which makes sense. It actually makes things a little bit uh, more unique. I wonder if there are any other structures that are like this, but... Let me put up all the other blocks, that way I don't get distracted and stuff like stone and other garbage no one cares about. <laughs> and, uh, 64 silver ore? That's actually decent. Let's, uh, smelt that up real quick and see how many we're at. So, uh, oh, whoops, that's the wrong button. There we go. 16 now, so... How many do we have in total? Combine that together. We have 33, so we have enough to get the boots now. So that's good. Let's do that. So we'd have a silver chain mail right there. Let's do that. Let's make the boots. So that would be... There they are right there. Silver greaves. So that's going to be three defense compared to just one defense right there. Yeah, let's do that. Boom. And now if we... Well, we need 12 more silver bars to get. And we saw some silver down there, but... 12 more silver bars and we can get the silver helmet and have a full matching set and get an extra bonus uh, defense. But now we're at 13 defense. So that's great. Anyways, uh, what else is in my inventory? Oh yeah, we have some gold ore right there. Let's see if we can get out of that. Like, four more ingots, right? I think, right? So, there you go. And four more ingots. And how many gold do we have in total? Yeah, we have 20 now, so I can make a, a gold helmet if I want. But of course, we oh, what was this? <gasps> oh, that's... I think that's what people were saying, like the, the big gems and stuff. For capture... The gem, it drops when you die. Wait, what? For capture the gem, it drops when you die. I don't know what that means. Topaz hook. Amethyst hook. I meant to go look. Oh, platinum crown. But that's not, that's not like, that's, that's vanity. That's not, uh, and the same thing here with the gold crown. Just vanity. It's not going to give me any armor rating, which sucks. Lead door, golly. I don't want to die. <laughs> uh, we can still make gold bars, I think, right? Do I have enough? Oh, yeah, I guess I did. 
Okay, well, that's good. So we actually have 21 gold. 9 plus 10, of course. We can make a platinum bow. Platinum short. How's that compared to the Yeah, our pointy katana is still 18 melee damage. Fast speed, weak knockback, 12%. Uh, fast speed, weak knockback. It's still better than the platinum short sword. I don't know about a broadsword. I don't think I have enough platinum for that, right? But that would probably be like two more, so it would probably be like 15 or something like that melee damage, so... Yeah, I'm still happy with our uh, katana that we got. It's amazing, you guys. But either way, uh, these these big large amethysts and large topaz and all that kind of stuff, I don't know really what to use those for. Amethyst, I think that's... I think that's what some people were saying I should make, the staff. I meant to go look at comments while I was fishing off camera. I forgot to do that. But making staves out of this stuff. Should I make it out of... Well, I guess you could only make it out of copper. Amethyst staff. 14 magic damage. Very slow speed. It uses 3 mana, probably like, per use. And I have 100 right now, so, you know, that's pretty decent. Uh, is there a to- or a- Like, a, yeah, a topaz staff or anything like that? I wonder. Enchanted Nightcrawler, yeah, we've seen that before. I don't really need that garbage. Uh, I'm not seeing, like, another symbol there for another staff, but... Yeah, now there's an Amethyst Staff, 14 magic damage. Interesting. Reinforced Fishing Pole, I don't think I need that. I, it probably makes sense to get a better one, because we still have a wooden one up here. 5% fishing power. This one's, uh, 15% and it's, like, iron or something like that. So, yeah, it, it makes sense. And then we have the Topaz Hook, the Amethyst Hook. I don't really know what that does. And that's 15. Oh, that's maybe what someone was talking about, because I remember the number 15. Uh, but we also have 25 and 27 right there, so we can craft that, and we can also craft the the staff over here, because that's 8. Hmm. I kind of want to make the staff, and that's made out of amethyst, and that, that'd be our first, do like, any sort of magic. Hmm. Should I do that? Maybe. I kind of want to. Let's do it. Let's buy it, or craft it. <laughs> 14 magic damage, 4% critical strike, very slow speed, weak knockback, uses 3 mana, so I guess... I don't know, it'd be kind of unique, maybe? I don't know, I'm like, we found a decent amount of uh, amethyst. Let's do it. There you go, so now we've got that. I guess I'll put that where the hammer is, because I haven't used the hammer in a while. And, uh... I don't know if I want to kill these second rabbits. Oh my god! <laughs> Jeez! Uh, what's the range on this? Oh, it's... Actually kind of like the, uh, the bow and arrow. And of course, that uses my mana up top, right? 100 mana. Yep, the three missing right there, and if I hold it down... Hold on. Okay, yeah, I have to- I have to cut- I have to spam it, it's not like the sword or anything like that, but hey! That's kinda cool, it's like it doesn't use any actual ammo, it just uses your magic over here, which... Boom, look at how fast that charged up right there from 76! Whoa! I wonder if this does any, like, AoE. Oh, whoa, what in the world? Wait, kill the second bird. Yeah, it has- it has slow... speed, so like, compared to like a, a bow and arrow. Let's see, there's that, and then here's the bow. Well, the bow, you have to... It, it does a parabolic meme where it goes up and then it goes down, so... This looks like it just goes straight. Yeah, look at that. Completely defies gravity, so that could be interesting, especially if we're, like, zoomed out. Kind of, like, kills something over there. There's some heckin' gel and copper. <laughs> and, uh, some... Oh, I must have hit it with an arrow or something like that, because there's an arrow right here. There you go. But yeah, I could definitely... Like, look at that bird. Like, what if I shot that bird from here? Right there. <laughs> it didn't see it coming. It didn't see it coming. I can die. Nice. All right. Well, that's going to be using our magic for the very first time. So that's going to be cool, you guys. Nice. Now, there, there's some coins I'd had. So uh, I guess I'll grab it real quick. And then magic mirror home like nothing happened. Boom. 